When Boosie Badass saw the images from Lil Uzi Vert's most recent Marc Jacobs campaign, he was in complete disbelief. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Boosie appeared in the comments section of a repost from The Shade Room after the fashion brand posted a photo of the rapper dressed in their clothing on Instagram. OMGWTF, Boosie commented beneath the image. He was by no means the only one who felt negatively about the campaign. In the comments area, other fans expressed their disapproval as well. Who do you think your target market is? How offensive to women? One particularly angry user wrote, I will never purchase your products again. Another commented, Artist Lil Uzi Vert has always had a wide range of tastes. Uzi does whatever they want, whether it's with their music or their sense of style. Fans have, however, responded to this with some really offensive remarks. Some people will deliberately make remarks that are homophobic, while others will simply disregard their preferred pronouns. Uzi can no longer wear anything without getting roasted for it at this point. One example would be their recent involvement in a Marc Jacobs marketing campaign. Uzi posed for Steven Sprouse and Marc Jacobs joint project. In addition, the 40th anniversary tote bag was given to the artist to handle. Regretfully, this is what eventually caused some of the clowning that can be found in Marc Jacobs' Instagram post comments area. Once more, the most of the jokes involve someone doubting Uzi's sexual orientation. Some, on the other hand, just think this is all funny in general. JT girlfriend is so sassy, one person wrote. It's giving women of the year, said another. At least one person stood up for the artist, saying y'all he's worth an astounding 25 million I don't think he cares what you think about him. It goes without saying that Yuzi's participation in the new ad has caused some controversy. This is not surprising, though, given the conversation that has recently surrounded the artist. Hopefully, from now on, fans will stop bothering Yuzi. It seems that Young Miami has officially declared the end of the City Girls era. Young Miami, who was thought to have split from her partner, JT, in City Girls, has finally talked extensively about concentrating on her solo career. Miami clarified in an interview with Complex on Monday that although the two rappers were in different spaces after the release of their most recent album, Raw, they are still friendly. In October 2023, it album only peaked at number 117 on the US Billboard 200. I had to really get back in my bag. People had just been talking to me crazy. So just going through ST really motivated me to get in the studio and make music, Miami said. From there, she admitted that Raw didn't do too well, and it inspired her to want to get to work on solo music. I think when the City Girls album Raw just dropped, and it didn't do too well, and we was just trying to do our press run. The whole rollout of the album was just so bad because we was just in two different spaces, she explained. We older now, and she JT was doing her own thing. She on the west coast, I'm in Miami. I'm doing my own thing. And I felt like naturally, when she doing her own thing, it just worked for her. And when I'm doing my own thing, it worked for me. But when we get together as a group, it just wasn't connecting. It just wasn't working no more. Rick Ross called Drake BBL Drizzy when he claimed that the rapper had undergone plastic surgery during their notorious 20v. One fight. Metro Boomin encouraged musicians from all over the world to compete over his track of the same name as the battle went on, providing a sizable monetary reward to the artist whose final creation he loved the best. Drake even recently made the decision to join Sexy Red in riding the viral wave with a song off of her brand new EP, You My Everything. He turned the phrase to his advantage, saying that although he doesn't have a BBL, wealthy women come to him for financial assistance in order to change their appearances. Naturally, the majority don't think Drake really had the surgery, instead, they utilize the amusing moniker to make fun of the Toronto-born performer, and imply he's not real. So you don't think he has a BBL? Uh -uh. In any case, Young Miami recently discussed the accusations and offered her insight in an interview with Complex. You know what a BBL is? I That's a lot BBL. of ass. She says there's no way he got a BBL because if he had, it would be glaringly evident. Yes. A BBL is a yeah. big ass. Yeah. The city girl went on to share her take on men in general getting the procedure, revealing that she's personally not a fan. I don't want no man with no ass. Although young Miami herself likes her men to have little to no crap in the trunk, she reminds folks that we're all gonna die one day and invites them to do with their appearances as they choose. Be free, be you, do what you want. Fuck these people, we all gotta die one day. Yeah. Following his altercation with Kendrick Lamar, Drake was forced to retreat. The majority of people concur that he lost with the release of Kendrick Lamar's number one hit Not Like Us, and the widely popular BBL Drizzy Challenge. Metro Boomin, another rival of Drake, created the instrumental with the same name. Not the rapper from Toronto's best period of work. Having said that, he's returned and turning his losses into wins. Attempting, anyway, 
On the brand new sexy red track You My Everything, Drake contributed a guest verse. He also chose to rhyme over the BBL Drizzy instrumental. The song has a unique beat for the most of it. Over a massive Take Heath production, Sexy Red performs her normal, but when the focus shifts to Drake, the beat changes too. The beat was originally composed by Metro Boomin to make fun of Drake for undergoing cosmetic surgery. But Drake changes the meaning of the sample to say that he can propose to any lady he wants. Me and the surgeon got history. I changed a lot of girls' lives for real. He raps. They need a new body, they hit in me, I. BBL Drizzy, they want a new body, they ask me for it. The last one drunk, he did it for free cause I sent over so many. There aren't any subliminals in Drake's verse that fans are searching for that are directed at Metro or KDOT. Here, the Toronto rapper crafts a delightful duet with Sexy Red, clearly in hitmaker mode. When they collaborated on Rich Baby Daddy, it was successful, so why not do it again? However, it does relate to a few of Kendrick Lamar's lyrical punches. While Drake was performing on Euphoria, Dot made fun of him for seeing two bad beats every time he was near Sexy Red. He also counseled the six gods to concentrate on hitting targets rather than engaging in combat. I like Drake with the melodies, I don't like Drake when he act tough, he adds. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.